Hi, this is a tutorial on how to install a Minecraft vanilla server for w Minecraft version 1.12.2. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. First, make sure you have downloaded the latest version of Java and have it installed. As seen here, download Java. Once it has finished downloading, run the file. Complete the installation steps, and then you will be good to go for the next step. After you have done that, you want to navigate to minecraft.net slash download slash server. You are, you are going to want to download the latest version of this jar file. It will download. Keep the file. Now, you're going to want to create a folder on for where your server will be stored. I'll be creating a folder in my documents folder. So create a new folder. I'm going to call this Minecraft 1.12.2 server. Now, I'm going to take this. We can show it in folder gonna copy it we're gonna put it in the doc in our folder that we just created now no matter what computer or operating system you are on as long as you have Java installed you can install this server you're going to want to open a command window or a terminal in that folder you're gonna run a one you're going to want to run this command. Um, the xmax and xms, those stand for the maximum amount of memory and the maximum and the minimum amount of memory. Now, after that, you're going to write dash jar, then your file, and then at the end, write no GUI or GUI. Might take a while, but if you navigate to this folder, you see there are several files that are being made. Now it says you need to agree to the EULA to run the server. Open the EULA in your favorite text editor. I'm going to be using Notepad. Now you're going to change this statement to true. Save it. And then close that. Now you can either run this or double click it so I'm going to double click it it works the same way if you run it regularly now more files will be created because this is technically your first run so now you see how there's a world file folder there are tons of other folders now, it's preparing the spawn area. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, now, if you open up Minecraft, and you play the latest release, Minecraft 1.12.2, you'll be able to use the server. Now, if we expand this, it says it hosted the Minecraft server on the port 25565. That basically means the local host. So if we go, um, this is just a website to check Minecraft server status. So, Right now, if we run localhost, if we connect to that IP in Minecraft, we will then be able to connect to the server. 
See, the site cannot be reached because we are not in Minecraft. So, we can also connect to it from another computer, not just on your network. Only use, like, so, enter the command ipconfig. It'll be ifconfig in Linux and Mac. So, now it has all this configuration stuff. So, now we see our local IP address. This is our local IP address. So, this is what you're going to need to connect to if you're connecting from the same network. But then, if we go, this IP address that we are looking at now will allow you to connect from another server on another network. So if we go into Minecraft, go to multiplayer, add server, we input this address and the port, and then we go all the way down. It's right here. See if we edit, ah. See now if we edit this, that's localhost. This is the IP. This is not working because we haven't set something up yet. So, let's connect to localhost. You see we have logged into this Minecraft world. Now, if we go to the server, it's a surprise Jedi, logged in with entity ID. So, now that you know that's worked. Now you know that has worked. So at this moment, my firewall does not allow us to connect to this IP on this port. But if you look at, if you open Google and search port forwarding, and you just follow a simple tutorial, and you need to open a port on the Minecraft port, which is 25565. You can do this locally on your network. There's a nice guideline here, and it will... If you look at here, it actually has, if you click on list of more games, and we can actually port forward Minecraft. So just follow this tutorial here and you will probably be able to connect from your, look, your public IP address. So once you have your public IP address, and you've successfully port forwarded, connect to your Minecraft IP on the port 25565. Then you will be able to join your server from across the If you ever want to test if your server is up and running, type put in your IP, your IP address and put it like that and then it will tell you if your server is online or not. This won't do anything because I haven't port forwarded my IP address. But if you follow that tutorial that I have in the description, you will be successfully able to play on your Minecraft server across the world. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.